Let's begin. Hi guys, welcome back to Zara Technologies. Today I'm going to demonstrate project's name, IoT and solar based wireless power transmission on road for electrical vehicles. So in this project we are using car and we are monitoring battery parameters like temperature, humidity, battery percentage and voltage. And we have Arduino microcontroller here to sense all these things and uh, show all these things on web server. And then we have some coils here on ground. So these coil will transmit power on this receiver coil using these relay modules. And then we have Arduino microcontroller here which will control these relays when we need power when vehicle is in front of these coils then only power will be transmitted to optimize the power we are using these IF sensors and this is solar panel this will be connected with the battery to power on the circuit so it can be solar powered and directly main supply also we can use here and this one is your power transmitter circuit in this circuit when we turn on this this LED is showing that power is on and this is a timer which is uh, giving power supply to this MOSFET which will be uh, turning this coil on okay so what will happen when this is generating the pulses this MOSFET will be on and off this is a switching device so this will uh, create pulses okay for this coil when there is current in a uh, pulses form like there is a change in current in the coil so magnetic field will be generated or generated on the secondary coil so that's the working principle of this project and uh, these are the relays these are 5 volt relays when 0 volt these relay get uh, it will turn on the particular coil so these coils are connected to NO normally open uh, point of the relay and this one Arduino again this IR sensor is connected to uh, this uh, A0 okay and after that it is sensing A0 this particular relay will be on and this is sensed this relay will be on like this project will be operated okay so guys now let's see working of this project uh, for working with this project first we have to turn on this okay and we can see battery parameters here so 4 volt battery power it is showing then battery percentage is 64 and humidity is 45 here and temperature of battery is 23 so I will show you how to connect this so first we have to create hotspot so I am creating hotspot with the name okay and then we have to wait one device will be connected here which is this one this Wi-Fi okay now let's wait for some time see now it is connected now we have to wait now these reading will be plotted here if you see last entry will be one minute ago you see live graph is plotted so it is showing voltage 4 volt 4000 millivolt it's actually showing and this one the humidity every value will be updated okay so that's the um, thing sick panel so uh, here uh, we can also add some widgets like i'm adding this gauge you can add and which parameter which field you want to show like i want to show uh, voltage so it will be connected like this okay it's showing 4000 volt then i want to add some numeric value of take example humidity so i will create this okay like this and uh, if you want to add location so just use this and add some location here and show it like you can add location of a place where project exactly is so it will also show the location okay so these uh, this is a way to connect this project to internet showing parameters on website okay now we will see how this project works the main working of this project so now you will see how much power is generated here okay so you can see 
it is generating 4.6 and if it's downward more near to coil it is generating 4.4 so this one is the calibration for the 4 volt battery we are charging 4 volt battery here okay and this is uh, through this coil okay let's see on other coil you see like this So now we have turned on the project. Now this is running through battery. So it will show voltage, battery percentage, humidity, temperature. And on internet it will plot graphs of voltage, humidity, temperature, percentage, percentage in gauge, numeric and uh, location can be entered manually where your project is. Okay. Now next thing is we will see how it is operating, how it will move forward and how it will create electricity. So for that we have to turn on this and this and this is one button for car to move. You see? It is generating the power. This part is for your car part. So on car you have this audio nano. Then DHT11 is there to show temperature and humidity. I'm teaching the student. Right. And then we have voltmeter to sense the voltage of these battery and it will display here. And Wi-Fi is there to display all parameters on web servers. Okay. And this is a ground and uh, then 5 volt. You can connect wires here for power supply. For taking 5 volt we are using this thing. These batteries will create, uh, create 8 volt and then regulate 5 volt using this IP and this 5 volt will turn on the uh, Arduino Nano and LCD also. And LCD we have to connect all things like ground 5 volt potentiometer then this pin to 7 number then this pin to ground as we have to always write then 4 pin empty because we are using 4 bit mode so we will keep this uh, not connect, uh, no connections here then we have 9 10 11 12 for sending the data then we have 5 volt and ground so we have to connect all these things on your uh, nano okay like this it will work hello everyone we are from Dalai Technologies New Delhi India we develop research based software and hardware projects and products globally. Dalai Technologies has the largest collection of projects. On our website, you can get services like unique engineering projects, science projects, M-Tech PhD thesis guidance, self-learning kits, ready-made projects, hardware components, drone-related services, software and simulations, research paper writing and publications in top journals and conferences. We also provide patent-related services. So to upgrade your knowledge, you can join our channel. For more details, please check the description. Thank you guys. Have a nice day.